all of these cameras serve as ENG cameras or electronic news gathering devices. A popular question that people ask is, how do I tell when it's recording? Now people generally think that when you turn it on and the red light comes on, then you know that it's recording. But I'm with a uh, longtime news cameraman and Old Boy Productions uh, chief cameraman Todd Gilchrist. Todd, that red light really doesn't mean much, does it? No, it doesn't. It's really meant for uh, programming where you want the talent to know that you're recording. Uh, but in news, that's not the case. You want to turn it off most of the time, and a lot, most of the camera guys would have it turned off uh, so that you don't know when they're recording. Well, how does that happen? Let's say we turn on this camera and take a picture of Ethan, yeah. who's, who's videotaping this section. So you turn it on. Are you recording at we the We are moment? recording now, and the red light's on. Okay. And now how would you turn that off? It's very simple. It's up on the viewfinder. There's just a switch here, and I can turn it there, and it's off, and we're still recording without you knowing. Uh, Ethan, give us a wave. And so that picture will still be on, right? Yeah. Now, there's also a, a red light here on the back. What's that for? Yeah, that's meant more for the operator or uh, the producer to know that you're recording. Uh, but it also can cue uh, people in that room that you're recording. And so it's easily turned off, too, and would be left off by a news and, crew. And so it's still recording. So there's Ethan again. Ethan, give us a wave. All right. So. That's these bigger cameras, and traditionally, you know, people think, okay, you come in with a big camera, all right, you're a serious news crew. But we're seeing more and more smaller cameras like this Sony PD-150. Mm -hmm. Would that really work for a television station? Would they actually use something like that? Yeah, they could, for sure. Uh, I mean, and a lot of documentaries are shot on this kind of camera, so you don't know the end use of this, and the quality of this is good enough for sure. Well, turn that one on. Is there a red light that comes on with that? There is a red light that comes on with this one, um, and it can be turned off too. Most of these cameras, it's not as simple and quick to do it, uh, but if they were prepared to do some news gathering, they would have it turned off already. Really? So there's no way of knowing whether or not that one's recording either? No. What about these consumer little handy cams, like if the, you know, a lot of times people have them with the, with the door open, but if it's closed, are you still able to record and is there any way for you as the, as the subject that's being recorded to know that you are being recorded? No, I, I mean this one made a little noise, a little beep when you started, but again if you were trying to disguise that you were recording, you would have it rolling before you came into the room so you would capture everything that was said in the pre-discussion. So in essence you never know when the camera's on? You never know and you can't trust that it is on or off. You need to assume that it could be on and that you need to be discreet in what you say. So anything that you say or do when there is a camera near you can and will be used against you in the court of public opinion. It will. And even if the camera's not pointed at you, that mic is live and could pick up your audio. So you think that you're off camera and you might get a little more loose-lipped, uh, but they're going to take that audio and use it against you. Okay. So the point is, when there's a camera around, you are on stage and recognize that what you say can and will be used against you in the court of public opinion if you get it wrong.